So I've been saying for a while that God has been giving us this time to wake up and to really discern what's going on in the world. And people have been given this choice. And you can choose to lean into the Lord. You can choose to research and really find out what people are saying and how to interpret it. Or you don't need to do that. And you can just ignore it and you can just go about your own way. And I don't want to use strong words, delusion, your own echo chamber, your own ways of trying to interpret and seeing what you want to see. But God, he's given us enough time. And a lot of us, we are going to reap what we sow. And so I'm saying this because I want to encourage a lot of you that have been looking at news, you've been looking at the way people have interpreted things, the way that certain things are coming off and seeing things at face value and then things at a deeper level. If you've been awake and you understand what's going on, then kudos to you. God bless you. God's going to use you for big things. But for other people, if you continue to go down this path, right, you have things that are happening at Columbia, you have things that are happening in the news. If you look and read certain pieces, right? I just, for the sake of just understanding what's going on, went to CNN.com. I went to uh, EpicTimes.com. I went to many places to understand the spin that they put on things. And so this much people already understand, whether it's leaning left, whether it's leaning right, liberal, conservative, what have you. But you can see and there's no going back now, right? You don't you don't just like go back to sleep and then not look at something objectively or not objectively for that matter. But rather you see it, you see the objective, you see who they're paid by, the motive, their leaning, their ideology. You see if they're void of God or if they are filled with the Holy Spirit and you understand certain things. The whole Ryan Garcia saga that has happened this weekend is one thing. There's this Trump trial going on. You have the Ukraine-Russia situation. You have so many things, this Palestine-Israel Many things have been given to you, in some sense, on a silver platter, and people still choose to want to research by giving credibility or the benefit of the doubt to other researchers and just believing them. But rather, what God has done is he's given us the open internet, he's given us time to research, he's given us an ability, a discernment to be able to see with keen eyes through the the BS, if you want to call it, through the facade, through all of the ways that people want to portray information and package it, their perception of reality, their narrative seeding, all of the psyops, the mind control, if you want to call it that, as well as the fallacies, the bias, the lens that you look through, all of this stuff, you've grown, you've upgraded, and you're now at a point for which when you see the world, when you understand You may seem and feel like you're alone, but there's many more people that have come out, right? Back in 2015, 2016, you had people that were, quote unquote, closet supporters of Trump, and now they're coming out, they're being more vocal. There are people that have been in the, quote unquote, closet, expressing their concerns about certain things that are biblically based, but they were in fear because they didn't want to be persecuted, they didn't want to lose their jobs, they didn't want to do things because it's going to look and rub people the wrong way, especially their church community, their family, and they just kept to themselves. But now, because it's affecting you, your family, your kids, and what's going to happen in our future, and how all of these crazy banana republic laws are being passed, and you see the open borders, you see all of the spending, everything that just from what was passed, giving all this money to Ukraine now and people in Congress holding their flags of Ukraine and they're just doing all these crazy things that are not patriotic to this country, speaking for America, as well as just this whole movement of righteousness, restoring order and allowing God to be at the center of everything because they haven't been doing that. God is going to bring the hammer down on many people. So whether you have a direct participation in it or not, or whether you are supporting it from a distance, but in thought and ideology and just your prayers even in in some sense, if you're in that position, you're not going to sow a lot of good things because later on when it affects you, your family and your choices, how you weren't able to see things, then you are going to be continually more blind because God says in the Bible that you will, that he will send them over to a strong delusion because they hated the truth. They didn't want to learn from it. So we're living in this time right now. But you still have a choice. You still have the chance, the opportunity to wake up to research. And so stop having a hardened heart. Stop having this arrogance and pride and open yourself and say, you know what? What is the truth? I really want to know what's going on. I want to know objectively. I don't want to have feelings. I don't have want to have this bias. I don't want to just hate Trump because everybody hates him or hate all these people, conservatives, people that have, quote unquote, had a bad reputation or name to him because they were eaten alive by the left media and all these guys, Any anybody from certain Republicans that seem extremists in the in Congress and in the Senate, all the way down to other influencers, people that talk, all of these things. Point is that just like in Jesus's time, when he was slandered, when people had the wrong image of him, people 
corrected that. They went beyond that. They said, you know what? I don't want to be biased. I don't want somebody else to influence my opinion. I want to find out for myself. So the same thing is happening right now. God is giving us a chance to find out, to open yourself up and say, man, I want to wake up to the truth, to the reality. I want to humble myself and understand what's happening. So this is what's going on. This is what the movement is about. And it's going to be more demonized as the election approaches or quote unquote the election, as well as many other things this year. And that's why you're having such a juxtaposition or a dichotomy in certain places like the universities, many schools of thought, because some people are being played to the disillusion and other people, they don't have a complete understanding. They may have a directionally correct viewpoint, but they're not there yet. They need to mature, they need to understand. And there's others that are fully awake and they understand what's happening. And so if this is you, God bless you, because God's going to use this for big things. So I'm just saying this because God's working, things are happening. Don't be concerned. It has to happen. There needs to be a shaking. There's a great awakening happening. And God is going to use this for good so that he can restore order. So as we move in to some better times, that this will be a indication that we can give glory to God, that, that God can be given the credit. So love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.